Hey there, my name is L'Oreal and I am here to encourage you because you have this nudging in your heart that you want to start a gathering. You wanna build community. You want to gather women in your home, in a small group, wherever it may be, but your heart is there to minister to women in a community and to love on them and do something fun, right? As women, like we are always putting ourselves on the back burner and you see a need and you wanna fill that need and to just provide an opportunity for women to come together, have fun, maybe learn something new, eat a good meal, whatever it may be. But this video is for you. And it's for you because I want you to know that things don't have to be perfect for you to start. And I say that because it wasn't perfect for me when I started. And so I wanna take you down a little journey of what it was like from the very beginning of my gathering experience um, and just kind of show you my heart and how that led me through obstacles and how I just kind of overcame them and decided that perfectionism wasn't going to stop me from getting women into my home. <laughs> but you ready? Let's go. From, the, from as long as I can remember, I, I I've always felt like I didn't belong. I don't know if you can resonate with that. Um, I struggled in high school. My life was, looked a lot, a lot different <laughs> than most of the kids um, that I went to school with. And so I just had this hard time and I almost had this inevitable or this foundational feeling of like, they don't really like me. Can you resonate with that? So anyways, I, I struggled. I struggled to have good relationships in my life. Um, and I knew that I wanted community. Community has always been something that has been really, um, just I've had this draw to. Over the last 10 years, I have done various things that have just authentically and genuinely created community in various aspects of my life. And it wasn't until um, October, 2022, that uh, we decided to renovate our whole home and add on new, add on to our home um, because at the time we had three kids, I was pregnant with my fourth and we just need more space. We were living in like 1100 square feet. And by the way, if you think that your house is too small or that you don't have enough space, um, I wanna challenge you there, but that is a video for a whole nother time. So we, <laughs> are getting ready to move out of our house and we think, oh, this thing is gonna take about four, four months. Well, the tidal wave of COVID happened and we hit all of the negative parts of it. Prices tripled in some areas. They, uh, the timelines got really delayed. And so it ended up being uh, a 17 month project. <laughs> And uh, there were a lot of lessons learned in that season that God gave me. Uh, but one of those things was that I knew I wanted to use my home to build community. Coming out of COVID, it was kind of like, you know, everybody was fearful to be around each other. And I just, there was something in my spirit that said, this is not right. We need each other. We cannot be isolated. We need to just connect moms especially need that time together and um, it just wasn't happening and so i thought well i'm just going to create it i am going to do something like that and so god planted a dream in my heart and um it was really tough because it was like i wanted to start um but our house wasn't ready and so finally we were like towards the finish line and i thought okay the moment my husband like tells me I can do this, I am going to run with it. And I was waiting for that green light of cabinets. <laughs> if you've ever been, ever been through a, a home renovation, you know, like when you have the cabinets in, you are close to being like ready to go. We got our cabinets in and unfortunately there was like road bump after road bump. We didn't have kitchen cabinets on, or uh, the doors on our kitchen cabinets and we didn't have hot water and it was like, okay, do I just go with it or do I wait more? And I just kept thinking like, I don't wanna wait any longer. 
even if this isn't perfect, I just want to do it because my heart is there. I want to build connection. I want to build community. I want to serve women. Um, the whole heart of it was, I'm a mom. Now I'm a mom of five. At the time I was a mom of four. And I know what it's like to not have a moment to yourself. I am surprised there has been no interruptions at this point. Actually, I told my kids, don't come out here. And what did they do? They came out here. So I get it. As a mom, it is so hard to have that time to yourself where you can like, it's the simple things, right? Like eating a meal that is warm without a, a baby like clawing at you and wanting you to hold them. So then you like hold them with one hand and you're eating with the other. And at this point, you're not even tasting your food because you're like, I just need to eat so that it have something in my stomach um, and move on, right? And so, you know, there was that part of it and there was being able to have a conversation without being interrupted a million times because let's face it like when you are on a play date with another mom and you have little kids a lot of the times you are chasing little kids and you're not really having like that good conversation and so i just wanted to create a space a safe space that allowed moms to come together to just take a minute to just breathe for a second to to create new friendships, to um, eat a meal in peace slowly while it's warm without having to worry about anything or serve other people's needs ahead of theirs. And so that was the heart behind it. And I thought, I am not going to wait any longer. I'm just going to do this. And so I told my husband, <laughs> I was like, February 27th, I am hosting women in the house. We are doing a spa night. So I told my husband, February 27th, we are doing this. I am doing this. I don't care what you say. I don't care if baseboards aren't in, I am doing this. And so <laughs> the time, you know, I start putting it together. I start talking to women and inviting. And like, I just realized, you know, how thankful I am that God has put me in various groups of women that I have been able to um, just meet and connect with so many people. And, um, so we're like the week of, and we still don't have hot water. Like the plumber came and all of these things. We didn't have a hot water heater or I, I don't know what happened. I think it was the gas maybe, not really sure. But I was excited and the women were excited and we did a taco night and it was a blast. And guess what? We did spa night and by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I was able to get hot water. Like literally 30 minutes before the event started, we got hot water. And I was thinking, Satan, get behind me because we are not doing this. We are gonna have hot water. These women are not going to wash their face with cold water, but you know what? Even if we would have had to do that, it would have been okay. And as you go through cultivating your own gatherings, I want you to know that perfection can just be set aside and you don't have to pick it up. I've done enough of these over the last 18 months that it, it, those types of things don't necessarily matter. They can if you make it matter. So anyways, we get there that we, I, night of, we get the hot water and these women are in here and I realize, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm so concerned about the hot water that we have no mirrors. We have zero mirrors and we are doing spa night. Like literally we are putting charcoal face masks on our face and I don't have mirrors for these women. And so um, we ended up using the window reflection. We used our phones. I mean, it was great. It was comical. Um, my kitchen cabinet doors were still not there. So my kitchen looked completely undone. Um, I had to like run to my garage and find a cast iron pan and like wooden spoons. I had no idea where anything was like all of our stuff was still packed up. We weren't even living in the house. Okay. We didn't move into the house until a month later, but everybody had such a great time. And I got so many text messages telling me how much they loved it how this was a prayer answered that they have been praying for a community of like-minded women and this was it. And it just solidified everything for me. 
and it has been such a fun journey. When I did my first gathering, I was five months pregnant, I think, with my fifth baby. And so I did gatherings all the way up until I was almost about to have my baby. And then, and then we started up as soon as I could again. And so it has been so, so fun. And I just want to encourage you, like, don't wait for perfection, just move forward. God will handle everything else. You just create and, and open up that space for the connection to happen. Um, you don't have to be worried about those types of things because God will come in and do that for you. You just have to be obedient with the steps that you take. I have done, I'm getting ready to do, I don't know, I guess I should count. Let me see. I'm going to pause this and figure it out. I did the math. This is going to be uh, on Friday. It's going to be my 16th gathering that I have done over the last year and a half. I've gone through it all. And I can tell you that each time God shows up in amazing ways and you don't have to worry about it. You really don't. If my very beginning encourages you and um, just gives you a little bit of that confirmation that things don't have to be perfect. You don't have to know all of the details up front, uh, but if there is a nudging in your heart that you just need to step out in faith and start the process because oftentimes when we take those actions in faith, the biggest blessings come from that. And I can tell you that not only do these gatherings bless me, but they bless the women that come. And I know that because a lot of them come again and again and again and again. <laughs> so it is such a good time. And I just want to encourage you, go for it. Go for it. Do it messy. Do it imperfect. All you need to do, I promise, is get the heart posture right and figure out why it is that you want to do it. And the rest is a piece of cake. Thank you for watching. I hope you were encouraged by this. If you know somebody that would be amazing at starting a gathering, or if that is you, feel free to reach out, share this video, um, and let's connect because this is just the beginning and I'm excited to continue to support you on this journey of cultivating the gatherings of your dreams.